Hey girls, wanted to um, <laughs> wanted to take a minute and just give you guys a few tips on kind of the way that I've been changing things up lately. And Let's do it again. Um, I'm really just feeling a ton better from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint. Um, I'll, I'll just start off by saying that most of my life when I wanted to do something, you know, if I set my mind to something, I'm going to make it happen and coaching is no different. Um, but the way that I've always done it is by like working harder than everybody else and also believing that I could do it too. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and put that one in. Um, but what I'm learning now through just like all my personal development and also I just started this Manifest 10K course online, which I'm really excited about and I truly believe I'm going to manifest the $10,000. The $10, um, is that you don't need to work harder. You need to work smarter from an energy standpoint. You need to, um, it, it all goes back to that, like believing um, believing that you already have or already are what you want, what you want to be, what you want to have. Because when you have the vibration of like a person that has that, then the universe has no choice but to bring it to you. It's just, it's a, it's a natural law, you know. I won't get too much into that right now. But what I wanted to tell you, one thing that I've, I've been putting this back into my business um, just recently, like some of the assignments. First off, I'm really getting back to being strict about, hold on, Julie. Why do you okay, let me do this video and then, yes. Wait, what movie did he put in? Um, okay, yes, I got it. Okay, yeah, the other National Geographic one. Okay. Um, um, so, so what I've really gotten back to is being strict about when I'm putting in my work time. Like, and then working then and then being present like in, during my day and with my family the other times as opposed to like constantly running to my phone to check messages or answer messages and all that. I'm telling people up front, I answer my messages three times a day. So if, you know, don't think I'm ignoring you. If I don't get back right away, I will get back to you before the end of the day or by the morning, you know, if, if we're chatting at night. Um, and I, so I check my messages in the morning. I check them around lunch. And then I, I have been dedicating one hour in the evening after my husband gets home. And the way I look at that is, you know, I could either put in an hour of work from home when I'm like still here with them. I'm right there. Um, I'm still in the same room with them. Um, I could still be here for anything if I need to be. It's still flexible as opposed to going somewhere and working part time four or five hours a night, three nights a week. You know what I mean? I would so much rather just be diligent about putting in that hour. You know, if you want your business to be serious, you have to take it seriously. You have to treat it seriously. You have to think that you are serious. You have to think that you are a successful coach you know I'm telling myself I'm a five-star diamond coach right now I'm, already, I'm pretending like I already am one um, and so yeah so I'm doing that just a, just a minute buddy and I'll put, um, look for that remote look over by daddy's chair so so yeah I'm being diligent with when I'm checking my messages and then being present the rest of the time and that's so important um, and, and I'm really just finding myself a lot more relaxed but also okay. one assignment that I'm learning from this manifest 10k is that you know, so the whole thing is like, how would you feel differently? Like when you have the, t if you had the $10,000 and you were able to like pay off some debt or whatever, like how would you feel differently? And so for me, like I would feel more relaxed. I would feel um, more freedom. I would feel, um, you know, happy, peaceful. I'd feel grateful. So these things, so all these feelings. So now I'm trying to, just a minute, I'm almost done. Now I'm trying to figure out activities, how I can create activities that I'm doing every single day. They're going to activate those feelings. So, for instance, what would make me feel like free um, and more relaxed? So every day I'm going to, in the middle of the day, you know, I'm either going to watch a 30-minute TV show that just I love and that just makes me feel like it's a Wednesday and I can watch this show because cause I want to. Um, or I'll sit with a magazine um, and read it for 20, 30 minutes a day. Like something that has like, you know, it's still going to be like probably about food or health, but that's because I love that stuff, you know. It's still fun for me. It's not like totally work-related. Like that's what I like learning about, you know. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out in nature every day. I'm going to, um, you know, make sure that I'm spending that one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. I want you guys to just make a note of, However you are building your business, like with whatever energy you're putting into it, that's the business, that's the energy that you're going to need to sustain it. So that's why I kind of like switched up how I was doing it. I was very much like, okay, if I just like work, 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 work this first year, then it'll pay off in the end. 
And even though I did work, I did the vital behaviors, I did, I plugged into everything that first year. Um, I don't want to keep that like, not like desperate energy, but almost like, um, it is almost like an energy of desperation. Like I need to make this happen. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm still going to put my vital behaviors in every single day and I won't go to bed until they're done. My inviting, my friends, my follow-ups, um, you know, my posting, all that stuff. That stuff is still going to get done, but it's just, I'm not, if you, I used to notice like when I'd be like, for instance, I got my free group inviting and I got, it actually like blew up this time. And so I have tons of these people that I'm trying to add into the group and it's just like, oh, I got to get these people added in and you know, ah, oh, yeah, you know, and it's just like, I'm changing that. It's like the energy that I'm do putting into the work is not going to be like relaxed. It's going to be calm. It's going to be peaceful. It's like, okay, you know, I've got this much time. I'm going to add in as many people as I can. Um, and then I'll get to the people that I didn't get added. I'll get to them when I can the next time that I'm working, you know? Um, because I don't want to live like that. I don't want to put that energy into my business. I don't want to have to keep that energy going to sustain my business. And I want you guys to make a mental that, note of that too. Um, so I hope that helps just, yeah. So yeah, again, make those strict times that you're going to answer your messages because in order for this to work, you need to be sane, you know? Um, so you need to set those boundaries, but you also then need to plug in, you know, like you need, if you want to see productivity in your business, you still have to invite, you still have to post, you still have to be present, you know, but I want you to just think about the energy that you're putting into it. Um, you know, start feeling the way you would feel if you were a diamond, a one star, a five star, you know, whatever you want to make this business out of it. Like I assure you, you can do it, but you have to believe that you can do it and you have to start thinking and feeling like somebody who already has. So I hope that helps guys and, um, talk to you soon. Enjoy your summer day. Bye girls.